Well, it's been a bit of a hot and cold start to the season, but we're going to try and really turn the heat up today with the Ankara Derby at Osmanlı Spor, and then we host Fenerbahce. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Merhaba, arkadaşlar. A little bit of Turkish there. Ooh. Welcome back. Episode 25 of Breaking the Big Three. See, I'm in a rather snazzy shirt today. There's no special occasion. It's just, um, I've just come home from work and no one else is around, so I've got time to record. It's been a bit of a busy week, but uh, never mind. Let's get on with today's episode. So, two matches today. Ankara Derby. We haven't featured one of those for a while. Uh, for a while, sorry. We're away to Osmanlı Spor, and then in the next set of matches, we're home to Fenerbahce. Uh, the transfer window has closed, and we started the season off in a bit of mixed form. You see here from the table, we've won three and lost two. I'll show you the matches first since that Super Cup final. Uh, we started off the season fantastically. We won 3-0 at home to Bashakshir here. Um, and you can see home form's been great, away form not so great. We then, I don't know what happened in this match. We somehow then lost 5-2 to Konya Spor. Um, that was a pretty poor performance after a really great performance on the opening weekend. Then we had the international break. Back from that, we won 3-0 at home to Samson Spor, who were newly promoted last year, so I was happy there. And then we lost 3-0 away to Adana Demispor, which is not a good result at all. Um, and then we bounced back a little bit in our last match. Uh, we had a 2-0 win at home to Kasim Pasha. So the home form is great. We've won 3 out of 3 at home. The away form is not so great. It's very strange because with the European games, we were... We were great away, we beat Ajax away, we drew with Sion away, <laughs> and we lost at home. So, yeah, I guess that's my job as manager to figure out exactly why that is uh, and what's going on. I think it might be to do with the fact that the team's reputation has increased, the quality of the team has increased. So whereas before, like the Konyaspor away match, I set up defensively looking for a kind of counter-attacking game, and last season, the season before, that was working wonders. But I think now... We're rated as a better team than Konya Spore, and that kind of didn't work. They weren't looking to it. They weren't attacking us for us to counterattack them. So, uh, and then you know, I went. Um, I did go attacking to try and get back into the game, and yeah, it obviously didn't work. And Adana Demispor, I kind of went a bit more attacking here, but I kind of held back a bit because it was away again. Perhaps I should have. Perhaps I should have just gone for the full on. Um, attack there, so we'll see. Uh, transfers, transfer window, um, there were a, a, no more ins, as you can see, a lot more outs. Uh, obviously, Shavanishik, uh, we had that in the last episode, he's off at Newcastle. I should check how he's doing, actually. Um, how's he been doing? So, not too bad. He's had one start and two sub appearances in the Premier League, and he scored a goal already, so good on him. Picked up a second cap for Turkey. All right, then. Um, Lots of players out on loan, lots of the youngsters out on loan, um, and that's it really. A um, couple of players I was looking to sell, like Stefan and Kansa. I brought him in last year, if you remember, but no place for him in the team anymore with some of the new signings we had. But couldn't sell him, but managed to get um, Heidenheim from Germany to at least pay a monthly fee for him. So yeah, not much more action on the squad front. One big piece of news, though. Uh, I just said no news on the squad front. I'm going to give you a big piece of news about the squad. I mean, no more news on the transfer front. You, you know what I'm talking about, I hope. Garrett Holtman, if you remember, I was trying to sell him because of his agent asking for silly money. He only had a year left on his contract, but he was injured throughout the transfer window. Well, the good news is I got a news item saying that he changed his agent. And... Then I immediately opened contract negotiations, and as you can see, he signed a new deal, a three-year deal, 25000 a week. So much better than the 45000 his previous agent was insisting on. 25000 a week, I'm happy to pay to keep him in. Now, obviously, his stats have dropped a bit due to a um, couple of months out with injury, but hopefully now with some more game time, he's going to return to his old form. So that's really good, because um, I was using him a lot as the inverted 
winger or inside forward on the right, where he's very effective. He has been in my tactic. But without him, I was having to just play with a normal winger, and perhaps that's why we were lacking that killer touch uh, away from home. Having said that, he's not going to be starting today because um, because of the fitness. Fitness is still not there. So here we go then. We're away to Osmanla Spore. Uh, there you can see his match sharpness is is still a little bit down. Recommended that he would only play a maximum of 75 minutes. So we'll have him on the bench today. We'll bring him on if needs be. So let's have a look. Osman the Sport, our favourites. They've started the season very well. Much better than us, actually. So I've gone back to 4-4-2. I was switching between the 4-1-4-1 and the 4-3-3 because there were similarities. That I was basically just I was pushing the wingers further up in the 4-3-3. But the 4-1-4-1 away from home hasn't been working. So we've gone back to our 4-4-2. We've got Hoff in goal. Uh, Gokan in there and Lucas Claro in the centre of the park. Akpala and Escobar at full-back positions. Berke in Al and Evren on the wings, Issa and Samed. Samed has really been improving, I have to say. Um, this is what his uh, his third season at the club now, and he's becoming a first team player. Some of the other guys, Guy Delay and Baddy, they're like 31, 32 now, and they're starting to decline. And Samed's coming in, you know, fulfilling his potential at just the right time. And Gustavsson and Ranty up front. The strikers have been struggling. I think as Gustavsson's only 18. That's asking him to be a lone striker is putting too much pressure on him. So we'll partner him with Ranty today and see how it goes. Okay, let's start this game then. Uh, hopefully we can pick up our first away league points of the season. It's going to be a tough ask because, as we're waiting for the teams to warm up, as I said, uh, Osman the Sport have started the season very strongly. So there you see they're lining up with like a 4-2-3-1. So hopefully my wingers are going to get the space here. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, he says pick up where you left off. Uh, I'm going to stick with that. Let's pick up where we left off. It's a local derby, but we have this strange thing where Osman the Spore are not listed as our rivals, but we are listed as their rivals. Our, our rivals at Ankara Guju who are currently wallowing in the lower leagues. In real life, they had some financial troubles and dropped down. A couple of divisions. Oh, here we go. Early on. Oh, look at that. There we go. First attack of the game. Gustavsson and Renty combine for a nice goal. Uh, let's have a look at that again. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. So, long ball forward from Akpala. Oh, beautiful touch from Gustavsson. Does exactly the right thing. Plays it into the middle. I don't know what that Osman the Spore goalkeeper melee was doing there. But... It's not my problem. So, not my monkey, not my problem, as they say. Here we go again. Gustavsson. Ooh, sprays it out wide to Berke. Inal. And Gustavsson on the other end. He's made it 2-0. What a start. Six minutes, 30 seconds. And we're 2-0 up the Genschler. Fans are going crazy. Oh, here we go. Let's have a look at that again. So, Gustavsson. Oh, this is beautiful play from him. Look at that. Switches it out. Spots Berke. Inal. Then he runs into the center to get on the end of the cross. That is why I signed this kid. Fantastic. Okay, let's keep this going, guys. Maybe this can become my lucky shirt for a football manager. I'm supposed to wear this for work. I don't want to be keeping it clean for football manager all the time, but, you know, never mind. Okay, so it's quietened down now. All right, then. So here come Osman the Spore trying to get back into the game. Good play, good play. Everen's got it. Who hits a high one. Really got some air under that. Uh, but it's come back to Osman the Spore, and they've hit us there on the break. Got to point the finger at Evren there for that. Yeah, poor ball out. He should have just played it inside or something. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. It's time to concentrate between now and half time. Here we go. Samed floats in a free kick, but it goes nowhere. And now we've got another break on from Osman the Spore. Oh, no. Uh, okay, good. Escobar out on the right side of defense for some reason. But okay, Gustavsson. Gustavsson, what are you going to do with it? You're going to lose it. Hearing me. Don't know why Becker in. I was cutting inside there. But never mind. We've got it again. Escobar back on the left side of defense where he should be. Good. And he brings it inside. Plays it into the middle to Ranty. Nice. And Ranty misplaces his pass. But Everin picks the ball up anyway. Okay, lots of mistakes here. It's come through to Ranty. And he's hit the bar. Unbelievable. Oh, after <laughs> so many mistakes from both sides there. And I suppose it's fitting that it ended with a near miss. All right, then. Well, we've definitely had the better of the game. 
But I do have to worry about the fact that they were able to kind of slice open our defence so easily for that goal of theirs. And 2-1, this is a bit where I worry that at half-time they're going to get a bit of a tongue lashing from their manager and come out all fired up. So I'm going to have to tell my team, don't get complacent. Gustavsson seems confused by that. But I'm going to say, calmly, that you have been playing really well. And now he's just confused. Like, how? why are you confused? Like, I'm telling the team just to watch out, keep their concentration, and I'm telling you, you played well. Uh, he's delighted and confused. Now I'm confused. Anyway, let's just get straight into the second half. As usual, I'm going to resist any temptations to tweak things up because we are playing better than them. They're going to, of course, we're set up to, on a counter-attack, so they have to attack us more now because they're behind which should give us more counter-attacking opportunities. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, okay, here we go. Evren plays it into Gustafsson. Evren picks up Gustafsson again, and Gustafsson. Beautiful, beautiful play. I, I guess he's not confused anymore. Another early goal in the second half. Lovely stuff. Um, it's Again, there were a couple of you know, mistakes. Uh, defending team, attacking team, not really dealing with things very well. Gustafsson loses it, but Evren... Beautiful little ball straight through. Uh, actually, probably that's what Gustafsson was intending to happen. He was intending for the ball to, you know, to just take the defender out of the game. That's what I'm going to tell myself anyway. Okay, I think we're going to look into making a substitution. Samed Kilic, he, yeah, like I said, he's really developed a lot in the last six months or so. I need to get him to work on his fitness, though. Um, okay, let's see. Who can I bring on? Um, I think... The best person to bring on is Kajar because he's got that experienced head. Um, might look into bringing on Holtman as well at some point. Everin Schengel, though, is having a good game, so I'm going to wait on that. Uh, that'll do for now. Just one sub. It's still, a, it's still quite a bit of time to go. Concentrate again. Okay, so let's see. Osman the Spore, goal kick. Lovely header. Gustavsson, he's, he's been central to a lot of these highlights today, has to be said. Evren, oh, come on, referee, surely that was a foul. But Evren, he's got a good rating, but he has lost the ball in a couple of these highlights in key positions. But okay, it's come through again to Gustavsson, plays in Renty, Renty goes on a run. Ooh, you can see there how Renty has lost a touch of pace. I'm sure like a couple of seasons ago, he would have just blasted through the defence there. Uh-oh, uh... -oh. uh Osman the Spore attack. Okay, let's let this highlight play out and then we'll go back to the subs. No, come on, don't let them score. Don't let them score. We, if they don't score here, we can kind of relax a bit for the final 15 minutes. Oh, they hit the post and then they've scored. Oh, dear. Right. Let's just pause that. We're going to have to tell them again to concentrate. Going to look at making another sub. Um, okay, Berke Inal is flagging a bit, so this is the time to bring on Holtman. I don't normally play him on the left, even though he is a left winger. And, yeah, Gokan Ghoul, we need to get him off. Bring back Antov, please. Tactically, I'm going to leave it for a little bit. I, just the final five minutes, we're going to go a touch more defensive. Unless, of course, they score, in which case... But we still need to go defensive to make sure they don't win. All right, come on. No one's chasing the long ball from our team. Sorry, I do seem to be having a couple of frame rate drops. I don't know what that's about. I will investigate after recording this. Good play from the midfield to win that ball back. Okay, good. Everen gets it and gives it away again. Okay, that's something we're going to have to work on, I think. He did have one really good game, Everen, where he... He scored two goals from that right wing position. Absolutely dominated. He got like a 9.5. Oh my god, it's 3.33. 3. <sighs> this is like part of the problem for us this season. What do we do now? Tactics wise, let's just pause that a bit. Uh, be a bit more disciplined. Stick to our positions. We'll stop running at the defense. Start hitting some early crosses in there. Drop the tempo a little bit. Tell them to retain possession. Is that what I need to be 
Let's exploit the left flank as well. Keep it away from Evren. Okay, hopefully that's not going to mess things up for us. Okay, goal kick for us. Hopefully we're going to... Okay, it goes out to the right flank anyway. And Evren gives it away again. Okay, Evren, do something useful. That's better. Plays in Gustafsson, who plays in Ranty. Back to Evren, back in the middle. And, oh, Kajar had a chance there. He could have taken a touch and run into the box with that. Okay, don't let Osmanlis oh, score. Oh, my God. And it's Escobar with an own goal. Okay, come on. We've got to, th got to throw things forward now. Both of those guys on to attack, please. Isa, uh, put you on to attack as well. We'll make you deep liar. Come on, wing backs. Let's get you attacking. We're going to go a bit more fluid. We're going to shoot on side, pump ball into the box. Run at the defense. We're going to go route one, route one, rather get that high tempo back. And once those are done, I need a quick shout. Tell them to push forward. Uh, dearie me, this started off. Never mind, this is not a lucky shirt at all. Oh, we have been woeful in this second half, and nothing's happening. Ugh. It's going to be a final Osman the Spore highlight. Now, this is not good enough. Too many games where we can... Something's up with the defense. I've got to investigate this because we had the 5-2 at Konyaspor. We've conceded four today. That is not good at all. Um, yeah, nothing to say other than we're not happy with that. Us man the Spore go top on the back of that result. To be fair, yeah, they are playing well, but... Ooh, no, we, we were 3-1 up. We should not have lost that game. All right, well... Let's fast forward to the Fenerbahce game then. Hopefully that's going to be a bit better. Fade to black. Be right back. Welcome back then. A home tie this time. Home game. So we're playing Fenerbahce. We're favourites despite our inconsistent form. Fener had a poor start to the season, but they've won their last two. So they'll be coming in this looking to continue that run of form. This is a team I picked for today. I've switched to the 4-3-3 as we're at home. We are favourites. Um... Um, I've brought Osgur in instead of Claro because Claro had a bit of a shocker in the last game. Um, I've switched Akpala to, into the wing-back role. I mean, he's still learning that. I had him, if you notice, defensive full-back because that's his natural position in the previous game. Um, Kajar, Samed, Issa in the centre. Samed has been re doing well in, in this tactic with this Mazala role. So I'll be looking for that again today. Uh, Berke Inal, I've been training him to be more of an advanced winger, but... Again, he's still learning that role, so I'm putting, bringing Milinkovic back into the side. He hasn't played much this season. Holtman's back in. They're both playing those inside forward roles that were working so well before. Gustafsson, seen as he got the goals and he got an assist in the last game as well, is up front. So I've dropped, um, I've dropped Claro and I've dropped Evren and Inal. I mean, Inal just, just because of the position change here. Uh, one weird thing about Evren, you see in the commentary for the previous game, I was not happy. And I was saying, lots of times when he was given the ball away and so on, he got an 8.2 rating at the end of that game. Uh, he had one assist. That's the only reason why. Uh, apart from that, he was rubbish. Anyway, let's uh, see. They're saying do it for the fans. Okay, there's no option to say I'm, I want a better performance. So, yeah, we'll go out there and do it for the fans. They don't care about the fans. Okay, I have a faith. Come on, Gustafsson, I... Have faith in you. Okay, good. You seem motivated. Okay, Kajar takes the captain's armband. Left baddie out. He hasn't played all season. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to discuss tactics. In a tunnel interview. All right, then. Let's have a go. Um, Osgur Ortach. I think I mentioned in one of the previous episodes that he was unhappy. He wanted to leave and go to Galatasaray. But then, once the transfer window closed, he was happy to stay with the club. Ooh! Akpala with a fancy shot there early on. Although we had early attacks and early pressure and an early lead in the last game and it didn't do much for us. Okay. 
So, okay, yes, I uh, just saw the thing from the assistant manager there saying we're dominating possession, which we are. Fenerbahce seem to be sitting back, which, okay, that's... Oh, what? Akpala, he's having a bit... Oh, sorry, I just knocked the table. He's having a bit of a fancy day, isn't he? A bit of a f cheeky volley early on, and then look at this. So he takes the throw in, gets it back. I assume he's trying to hit a deep cross, but he just ends up making the goalkeeper look like David Seaman. All right, then. Let's, well, I won't get too excited, not after that last match. <laughs> but this has been the pattern. Win at home, lose away. Win at home, lose away. Be like Leeds back in the first ever Premier League season all those years ago had shocking away form. But anyway, ooh, Fenerbahce hit it wide. Looks like we're going to get to the half with our 1-0 lead intact. Or maybe we can make it two here. Gustafsson... Hits the wall, but picks it up. Is he going to knock the cross in? Yep, but it's straight to the keeper. Okay, hopefully this doesn't turn into a Fenerbahce counter-attack. It looks like it might. Oh, uh, they get the early cross in, and... Uh, this is not my favourite episode. Come on, FM. I, you know, I haven't been able to play for a few days. Entice me to keep playing with some wins or something. Uh, we're definitely getting picked apart too easily on the counter this season. Uh, the only big change in the defence is the arrival of Escobar. So, is he just not as good a player as I assumed he was? I'm not sure. Okay, yes, definitely going to tell them that they have not been playing well enough. Anyone? Nobody's particularly underperforming. I mean, Gustavs and, and Holtman have pretty low ratings, but all it takes for them is a goal or an assist, and they'll shoot up to an eight. That's the way FM seems to work. Come on, let's encourage the players a bit. Uh-oh. And I bet you get a highlight. Oh, come on, come on. We should have had that. Okay, passed it to the keeper. Thank you very much. The Hoff apparently shows good hands in holding onto the ball, which came at a slow pace directly to his feet. Okay, Holtman, come on, Holtman, your chance to do something. Gets the cross into Gustafsson, and just over the top of the bar. That's better from Holtman. He's still only on a 6.4. Okay, and nothing much is happening. Oh, okay, I'm going to cancel that. Let's watch this highlight, and then we'll think about our sub. So, Gustafsson. Oh, come on, somebody oh, somebody shoot! Oh, okay, he's given a free kick, but what was all that about? Okay, then. Who have I got? I've got Ranty to bring on up front. Let's go for it. And, yeah, I'm going to take Holtman off. Put on Evren Schengel. Switched him to a winger instead of an inside forward, which is fine. Come on, guys. Last 10 minutes. Let's do this. I don't want to change the tactics now because I don't want to, you know, throw it away. Because at the end of the day, it's still Fenerbahce and, you know, a 1-1 draw is still good. I've still got a substitution to make. Um, who have we got back here now? Go on, get on there, do something. A bit concerned about the players' fitness. I wonder if those early season European qualifiers are kind of didn't allow them to have the full pre-season training. Anyway, Akpala's high cross is easily picked up by the keeper, and I think that's going to be that. Oh, thought we were maybe going to get one more attack there. Maybe still time. Come on, ref. Don't blow the whistle while we're attacking. You referee. Well, that's disappointing. We... I mean, we dominated the shots, but only three on target. That's the telling statistic there. Oh, right then. Bit of a disappointing episode from my point of view. Um, just one point. Those guys seem demotivated for some reason. Well, I can tell uh, Kajar, he was unlucky. All right. And I'll tell Issa the same then. Still demotivated. <laughs> Yeah, a bit of a disappointing episode there, so that means we're now back in seventh, although we're only four points off the top, so it's still early days in the season. I'm also going to have to have a look at our defence and see why we're getting hit on the counter-attack so much. 
and also why we're struggling to get shots on target. That's my homework ahead of the next episode. Speaking of the next episode, let's have a quick look. So, tough run of games coming up. Look, Trabs on Spore, Galatasaray, Bursa Spore. We'll see who we get in the cup. Um, so we might show one of the cup games. It depends who we get. Um, I'm thinking we'll come back end of the year. Kayseri Sport, Akisar Sport. Try to showcase a couple of different teams, you know, rather than just just showing the big teams all the time. But for now, thank you for tuning in. Please hit that like button uh, if you've enjoyed that video. If you watched to the end, you must have liked it. So hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm a Dodgy Gamer. Yakanda Gurushurus. Bit more Turkish there. I'll see you again soon.